Yeah. <laughs> now it is. Okay. So we were on the Eames yeah, Eam scene. The, yeah, the, the nature of, of what a studio does, where everybody may be called upon to do almost anything. And of course, there were special people who were especially good at type faces, people good at fabrics, people good at making prints. And, uh, but there was just like a giant accumulation on any project. And some of these pictures just show, just laid out, like that was, that's a work area, that was theoretically somebody's work area. So this is the office? This is, these are all, these are scenes from inside the office. Oh my god, I love this. Wait, go before you go. So what is this, is like a timeline that they had uh, up there? Uh, no, is this, it for a particular no, project? This, no, this is one of the, the great things that we've done, I think it was done for the uh, County Museum, uh, Museum of Science and Industry, a timeline of history through every century with graphics and text describing what had happened at every, and this is something you ought to find a copy of somewhere. I know it, it's available, it's like sort of like one of their greatest accomplishments. I think they have it at the Eames store, there's like a whole... Well, it's the sort of thing yeah. that if you're prepared to spend a little time and your vision is good, you'll just learn an enormous amount about Western culture. Yeah, and but they had this up in the office. Well, this is what they had, they had one up, just because, you know, it, it, no, this was long, long, you know, long after it had been done. Right, uh, but I mean, like you can just, just by seeing this interior of the office, you realize just how creative and how many ideas and how well, much like stimulation. For, like, like for example, I mean, here are two pick two two tables covered with images, like uh, and somebody working by themselves with a rewind, looking looking at these something. are all sixteen millimeter film reels. Yes, and uh, this is another picture that is just like like here's somebody working probably on slides, like these things were all up. A variety of people would be working on the sequencing of these things. Everybody had to look at them and do their best as was needed. Uh, the Eames office was like, you know, multi-focused. And depending on what the project was, uh, and this material are like, are just graphics and things that I saved that would otherwise, either like they were duplicates or things I made copies of that I wanted. Right. I didn't take any of these pictures, but they were, to me, they were like treasures of what this, Organization was doing. Never thought it was like a family of people, and you know, and a lot of people. Uh, it wasn't a totally happy family, because a lot of people felt they never got personal credit, because no one ever got personal credit except it was everything. The Eames office. Well, right. That's was, how it is. Was the credit for an and, architect. Uh, and Deborah Sussman, you know, who went on to have a very, with her husband to have a very big independent graphic design. You know, they did the, the big blue bus, and they've done everything. She was very bitter. About and, and most of the people who worked there came in relatively young and early in their careers, and uh, and I came in w with my own identity. I mean, I already had major things that I was doing that were important to me. So I never had that feeling that I was I had my own projects. I didn't devote myself a hundred percent to them, even though a lot of our hours were seventy-hour weeks and sometimes around the clock when we you know ran out of time. Uh, but I but I. Got the benefits of all the access to the technical facilities, and uh, without and, and did not feel subordinated by these high power personalities and the names. So a lot of people went on with sort of bad feelings about you know never getting you know, never getting the credit they should. But while they were there, we were all we all had the choice job, whatever it was. Being part of the Eames office was a status. And was it cool to have a paying gig, a gig for a period of time? Oh, it was marvelous. No, no, that, that, no, that wasn't. That wasn't very important. Did you feel then that you were exposed to a lot of different ideas and projects and things that stimulated I, well, you? In what a I was way? exposed to was the skills of graphic design and the concept of. Yeah, I learned. I learned about typography. I learned in a very concentrated way by watching it all happen. All the areas of decision making that I had never really thought about. Since I hadn't had a formal education in graphic design or art or anything, I just suddenly saw it all being used. And film was being shot and I was watching, yes, I, it, was, it was, and I learned how, I, I learned how to do a, do a poster, I, knew, I learned how to do leaflets. I mean, I knew the idea Politically, but I didn't know the hands-on. I learned I learned an enormous amount in, in those years. 
And is this the interior of their house? No. That's some showroom somewhere. Maybe it's their. It might be their house. It's not a very good picture. It, it probably is their house. Yeah, because it. But their house has has so many qualities. That's not a good represent. And I don't think there's anything in, okay, uh, so this in is those a... files. It's just the richness of the of the graphic stuff that we were surrounded by. Right. These first two folders were all your still lifes, and was this from that was from previous period though, right? Oh, this is from from very early on. Right, this is the material mm -hmm. that you were telling us. Some before. of this was okay. some of this was done in the '60s, uh, and some of it was done before. Some of it was done when I was living alone at the beach. Okay, no, I'm going to move this because this is not. This is not the ink material. Okay, so now here's now oh, these. Like this is this, this is this is this is this is the Herman Miller. Oh, you know what? Oh, their, their furniture was all man distributed by Herman Miller. But you know, like you know, the big modern furniture. In fact, Eames and Herman Miller like sort of fostered their own big career. This is the Herman Miller showroom in New York City. But now these photographs. Oh, those are photographs I took right. at, at at Sunset Boulevard clubs. Well, I this looks like the Velvet Underground. No, no, no. Well, it, it looks like it, but this no, this wasn't the Velvet Underground. This was, you know, one of the big clubs. There's Bruce Connor. That's Bruce Connor. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did they um, know that it was Bruce Connor, or they? Oh yes, they mean, but that didn't mean anything to them. But right. these, what they wanted were pictures of a club, a club scene, and people dancing. And I just went in and shot, you know, 35 millimeter, uh, set up some flash, and then they made these giant. Uh, blow up. So something I did as a photographer ends up in a showroom in New York City, big photo mural size prints. That's um, fantastic. And what is, is that, a, what is that? Is that like a cracked mirror or is it a... Um, it looks to me like this is a glass panel and it must be cracked. And that was probably designed to be cracked. And so and, did and they... I, and I probably took this photograph, which was of a wooden toy. Shot it on a four by five, and they made a big print for it. And so this um, is work you did for hire when you were part of the Eames well, team. I mean, I, I, I work. Well, what do you mean for hire? Well, when they, you're working for them, they said it, they they say we need these pictures. Go out and do this. Right. Okay. Yes. Um, and like this is you know this is all Eames furniture. And, oh, the big, the big, new, oh, the, the big, the World's Fair. This is a, a model of this building that was built for the U.S. US Pavilion. That's a uh, Tony Armstrong Jones, if I, uh, who's married to somebody in British royalty. Uh, he and the British Embassy people came one night, and Charles is demonstrating inside this the seven screens and how they work. And there's Ray watching. There's someone from the British Embassy, and I was just photograph. I was just doing. Journalism. I was just photographing one of the things that happened, and this was like probably Ray Rayim's birthday. Yeah, it looks like because there's a cake and, and yes, and uh, and and she sold. You know, somebody made a probably Deborah probably did a birthday card for her, and I got a nice photograph. And there's Charles showing off, talking to uh, Anthony, what a Tony Armstrong John. Pictures we did a giant. A, a giant uh, Nehru exhibition here in Los Angeles. A crew of about eight people went to India for three months and photographed Nehru's prison cells and all the things that he'd gone through before he became a, a, a leader. Did you get to go to the World Fair or to well, any I trips? I no, not not for, not for the uh, not for the Eames office. I uh, I stayed. I didn't, uh, but I took it in myself on my own time. Now here's a close up of the the, the dancers. At one of the big clubs on the Sunset Strip, and uh, yes, that is. That's funny. And so, did you go on any trips for the Eames Studio? No, no, I stayed, I stayed at the studio, and then they, you know, they would send. Uh, this is strange. Because all of a sudden, it's like, oh my! And this is this is a picture of Charles that I took. But all of a sudden, in this is one of the things that I accumulated. This picture of a U.S. tank 
pulling a dead Vietnamese behind. This is one of the things I would have saved. This is from a Rome, Trophy of the American War. That's really gruesome. But, but that's something I and, I, and I, and I went out and did, you know, I, I would photograph a meeting of educators and then make a little slideshow. So these are like neutral photographs I took for the Eames people on assignment for their project. She was one of the girls who worked there. And these are pictures of Charles. And this. Now, like these are photos I took around the studio. This was a nice birth birthday yeah. party picture of the two of them. I really wonder if uh, the Eames people, there, there's somebody at the Eames office, I don't know if he, he might want to come. And they, and they, like, this, is, this is probably a picture that Charles himself took. I would make extra copies of pictures that I well, Demetrios is now the, who's the grandson, is the one who's in charge of the, yeah. were you wondering whether or not he knows that? I wonder if he knows if all this stuff exists, and how interested he, he would be. And here's another example of the sort of thing I would do. These are circuit, computer circuit boards, you know, five by six inches that I photographed and then they, in, in full color, and then they blew up for display purposes in the uh, office. Yeah, that's a lot of nice stuff. Yeah. And this, was this when you, when, did you go to, did you? Photograph this? No, that's, one of Charles, that's one of Charles's photographs. Okay. He was a very good photographer. That's a nice shot. And, yeah, it's kind of gorgeous. It was a nice wide angle lens, and it's kind of magical. I mean, I think it's probably, even though it's a, it must be impressive by itself, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's right on Wall Street. It ha I think this is probably. I think it's still there. I think it's I probably the best it. way it's ever, it has ever been seen. And then these are. Like, this is another of his photographs. This is at some government building. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And I remember, you know, making an extra print for myself. And knowing how nice it, that these pictures end up here. That people will get to look at. Yep. I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to long. Oh. Well, this, there I am. Is that you? I had a very oh my big, God. and I had very rich red hair at the point. And I was, wow. And I was wearing a suit, and I was carrying three cameras. Yeah. Come on. You know. That's a great shot. Where was that? That was probably at the uh, Nehru exhibition. Some big... Yeah, because you can see there's some people are wearing Indian um, saris. <clears throat> but to wear a suit and carry three cameras? <laughs> That's great. And I had a big, bushy beard. And red hair. All right, and then there's just a little bit more of the Ames, Ames stuff. There's a, now, did you do this series for the uh, chair? Oh, this was actually done for the, for the Herman Miller Company. Uh, I went to UCLA, the UCLA library, where which, which had been outfitted with Eames furniture, and just took pictures of at, people of people using the Eames, falling asleep on the Eames chair, studying different Eames furniture. And I took a lot of you know a lot of that like the girl asleep but sitting in an Eames chair. Well, it's great. I mean, because everybody's in a different position, using them in a different in a different way. And That's these all. pictures were used in a variety of something. I think at the at the Herman Miller Furniture uh, Factory, in their office, they had a whole wall of these different pictures to show for the people who worked for, for Herman Miller how they're how they're used. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that was a very, that was a very successful. I mean, just went out and spent a day photographing uh, at the at the UCLA Library. Just you know, just straightforward natural light, thirty five millimeter snapshots. That's very satisfying, and and these are yeah, and, the, and, and we, we yeah we went ahead and I signed and I did sign all of these. That's good. Okay, and lastly, I think this is actually a lot of the same material, but it's not prints. But this is looks like this is part of that same yeah. session. Sorry. This is, 
it, it, you know, it's obviously at some function. At, Who is that? That's Deborah Sussman. Oh. Do you know Deborah? Yeah. Young Deborah. Young, a younger Deborah. Yeah. And here's this is the office. Yeah, these are yeah these are uh, yeah these are views of the office. And then I went outside and I saw and I found some broken windows. So apparently I was just carrying a camera. Probably when I was there, I was using a Hasselblad. But I shot a film. You know, I, I just shooting things for myself. And did they supply you with, you could get whatever cameras and things that you they wanted? Had all, yes, and, uh, and all the film I wanted. And so I, yes, it was sort of, and these are you know, employees. And this, you know. And every so often, somebody runs into me and says, do you remember the Eames office? And of course we all remember. And, these are, and we'd have young students coming for, you know, for summer assignments. And I just photographed everything. To be interned. Yeah. Seems like a, that would be just a prime position to be well, involved was. with and people and just stimulating and... Did you have to take some portraits of, of Charles? Charles? Uh -huh. Looks like he fancied himself a very debonair guy. Yeah, these are different, different social events. And so here, here like this is obviously, some things are done in the studio, some are like on a cloudy day outside, uh, some are just neighborhood people on my, on my lunch walks. And who's this? Do you know? Can you see? I don't know who that is. Okay. There are a lot of people in and out of the studio. And there was major construction going outside, uh, on outside the studio, so I just... This is all Deborah Sussman? No, this is uh, Annette Del Zoppo, one of the other employees who obviously I like to photograph. And I think this is all pretty much okay. more of the same. And all right. a, lot, a lot of them I have Excuse me. very sentimental reactions to rem rem remembering those days. Yeah. All right, great. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for today. And um, we can continue on. We didn't even get to any of the civil rights material, which is actually probably okay, all the political things and everything, because we can... Well, I should think uh, we've accomplished a lot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, no, this I, is know, good. This, this is not something that you can get through. No, and it's better, I mean, it's, I think it's just better anyway just to do kind of bits mm -hmm. and make sure we go through it thoroughly. All right, you guys. It's a wrap. So two things that I, will, that I do remember from our first session. 